concealment. In any city, in any country, go into any hotel and tell the person at the desk that you wish to see the holder of concealment. He will make horrible, gruesome noises and turn into terrible things. But if you manage to watch without going mad, he will surrender and walk back through a door that wasn't there before. If he doesn't walk back through a door and instead rummages under the counter, make peace with your God in those few moments you have left. Even if you were able to stomach what you just saw, what he will pull out will surely be the end of you. If you are successful, he will hand you a key which is made from bones. Whatever you do, do not think about where the bones were obtained, and do not ask him about the key. If you do either, you shall learn and become a part of the key. Whatever you do, the person at the desk will disappear. Turn around and you shall be stricken with the worst hunger you have ever felt. The desk will be covered in plates of the most exotic-looking foods, but do not take a bite. That is what they want you to do, and they are even hungrier than you are. If you manage to keep your hunger in check long enough to stumble to the door you walked in, the hunger will vanish. Stand in front of this door and say, I seek what has been concealed. If you start to feel warmer, open the door. What comes out will grant you a swift end. If you feel colder, a door will appear out of the wall next to you. Open it with your key and you should have a torch in your hand. Immediately put this out and it shall be as bright as the sun in this hallway. You should hear voices screaming for release from concealment, but you must ignore them or they will claim you for their own. Walk five feet and stop and turn and walk into the wall on the left. If you keep walking forward, you shall meet a horrible beast that will kill you very slowly and painfully. If you succeed, you should find yourself in a very luxurious hotel room with a very old man lying down on a couch. Ignore him, even as he screams for you to help him. Instead, turn to a black leather armchair and say, Remove yourself from concealment. I seek as he has ordained. Immediately you shall faint and wake up later in a concrete room with no windows or doors. Feel around in the middle of the room for something. Anything. If you should feel what appears to be a cloak, grab it and rip upwards. As you discover the old man beneath it, the cloak will form into a knife. Be quick to kill him. His teeth are sharp and he is stronger than he appears. Should you kill him, the knife will revert back into the cloak, which is now visible and appears to be blood-stained. A door will appear in the wall. Open it, and you shall return to whatever place you call home. The blood-stained cloak you hold in your hand is a true invisibility cloak. Wear it, and you shall become completely concealed to others, who will not be able to see you, smell you, touch you, or sense you in any possible way. This cloak, which is object 439 of 538, shall grant you that ability, and the ability to see anything, no matter its concealment. However, the plane you walk upon when you put on the cloak belongs to him, and the creatures that inhabit it will not take kindly to your intrusion.